Hello everyone, my name is Hayati and I'm the Applications Engineer here at RapidScan3D. Today we're going to talk about ScanTech Analysis Tool. So before we get any further, I'm going to open my file. We have the mesh data from the actual part that we scan. And then we have the cat file already been modeled. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to wrap and convert it into a mesh. Once we complete the process, we're going to clean up these floaters, make sure the part is nice and clean. Next, we're going to bring our step file. Now open it. Once we open the part, we're going to set one for reference, one for set. Now we're going to align the part. What I'm looking for is how my helix are aligning. So I'm going to put four different locations on the part itself. Uh, by the way, if you accidentally click something else, you can just go back to the area that you clicked and then change that um, reference to zero and it will delete it. So we're going to go back to our mesh data and we're going to align the cat file our mesh to cat. Let's just click on the shaft and then we apply. Once we complete the application, you can see on the right side there's a view port. View port will tell you how far you are off, how close you are. We're going to accept that. After progress uh, is completed. We're going to go to analysis. We're going to click on 3D comparison. And it's going to analyze the cat data to mesh data. And it will tell us how far we are off from the cat file. Now we're going to edit. There are several options here. You can choose the way you wish. Uh, you can adjust the color. Um, this is totally up to a user and how they want to process their data. You can always restore the default and then apply it and save. And then you can close it. So uh, there are a lot of different um, options here. You just have to play around and get friend, you know, friendly with it. Um, so we're going to close this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create uh, annotations. Annotation is going to tell us how far we are off from the surfaces. So I'm just going to keep this fifty thou, fifty thou, apply. Now you see the color changed. I'm going to save it, close it. Now I'm going to click on annotations. Right there. I'm going to randomly select these red, blue, green areas so I can see what my deviation is. And you can click on Auto Arrange and Apply All. You can change these values, Upper Tolerance and Lower Tolerance. That way you have a better understanding where your part stands to your manufactured part. All right. 
The next thing, let's say you want to see another uh, the view. Uh, you can type in second. Um, you can just change these upper tolerance, the lower tolerance, or to any number that you wish to. And then you can go ahead and click on annotations and then you can flip back and forth and see the difference between each deviation report and then after that you can produce a report and then send it to machine shop or inspection department I'm just clicking randomly once we're done we can click on the report Helix part author just put your name customer XYZ uh, model part number uh, one two three and save it let's save this on our desktop Helix. Yep. And then now we're going to open it. I already have the CAD file here. It's all fully editable CAD file. Now we can open the report. You can scroll it down. You can see the new view, one with the tolerance already added. And the next one. I didn't put any tolerance upper or lower you see it in status uh, it says fail so deviations are right there on XYZ uh, tells you exactly how far you're off so these are really useful tools for um, Scantech the viewer uh, so if you guys have any questions uh, please feel free, feel free to call us thank you